that, Michael? It smells like Volvo gravy. Sure does. What's up, guys? This Drifts and Lifts here. All right, so today's episode, uh, we're living in a post-apocalyptic world. As you can see, there's smoke everywhere. So the California wildfires and the wildfires happening everywhere um, are making it a little difficult to breathe right now, basically. Um, as you can see, it's just smoke everywhere. And my eyes are starting to hurt and my lungs are starting to hurt. Um, I'm kind of used to it from all the, the BTs I've taken in the past, but um, so what we're going to do today guys is uh, I got a new part for the panel wagon to get it back on the road so we can go have some fun. Last time I took the wagon and I was going to take it for a drive, I was actually just on my way to the gym. I hopped in and I pushed in the clutch pedal and it went all the way to the floor and made a weird popping sound um, and then I had no clutch. So it was a little bit weird. Um, I found out what it is, my slave cylinder actually, the snap ring that holds it into the bell housing popped out. Um, I pushed the pedal in, unfortunately it um, disassembled the slave cylinder. So if we walk over here, we can kind of see what happened. So the old slave cylinder is still hooked up, um, but this is the piston that came out of it. And here's the push rod. So I think the piston fell out and then I did push the car into the garage. And I think I ran this over because I didn't look at it until, um, until I actually pushed the car in the garage. So you can see the, the seal all around here that's what's going to hold all your brake fluid in um so that's not going to work this one is broken so our local auto parts store had one for ended up costing me 180 bucks which is still absurd in my opinion like rock auto you can usually get these for like 80 dollars like shipped to your door so anyways we got it now so uh you know what can you do sometimes you got to pay a little more when you want something you know now so uh, this one should be good. I don't know what kind of quality it is. It's uh, just a kind of off-brand whatever. I got a new snap ring. I'm hoping this one works. Um, it should fit into this little slot pretty good. This snap ring, once I get some snap ring pliers on it, and it should do the trick. So I'm gonna install this right now, and then we're gonna bleed the clutch. So we're gonna pop this little nipple off, and Mikey's gonna be helping me with that. He's gonna be pushing in the clutch while I, you know, um, loosen the nipple so we can bleed the, the air out and that kind of thing. Um, and then once we get that done, we're gonna go take this car for a rip uh, because it's been a little while since we got some cool drifting footage. And since I have my good friend Michael helping me out now, he's got good cameras and GoPro 8 and all that kind of stuff. So um, yeah, we're just gonna basically try to make it as entertaining as possible for you guys. So hope you like it. As you guys can see, I'm wearing my Drifts and Lifts Epic Volvo Drift Logger um, shirt right now. So we still have these for sale on the Teespring store. So the link to the store is in the description of this video. Um, if you guys are looking to support the channel, uh, there's no better way to do it than buying some shirts off us, some hats, some uh, hoodies, some whatever. There's a bunch of random stuff on there with this logo on it. Um, there's also a bunch of other cool logos too, so check them out. And uh, yeah, like I said, great way to support the channel. Um, you know, we always need a little extra cash to put into these cars, to buy new parts, to go on trips, to pay for tires, to, you know, car stuff gets kind of expensive and um, we're running off a pretty small budget here. So yeah. Guys, so we're just taking off the old slave so it just threads off the clutch line here and you'll see there's a aluminum crush washer right here so we're gonna keep that on we can reuse that should be fine um, so we're gonna thread our new slave cylinder on and then we're gonna fasten it into the bell housing with a snap ring like I was talking about there and then we're gonna bleed it um, which is a little bit of a pain Mikey's gonna help me with that he's gonna pump the pedal while I crack this bleeder screw um, we should be able to get it done in like 10 minutes or whatever. All right guys, so as far as bleeding the clutch goes, not a very difficult job. So while we're doing, this is our bleeder screw. Uh, you're gonna wanna have this on the top of the slave. So when you have it mounted in there, make sure this is on the top. You're gonna wanna hook up a piece of clear vacuum line essentially, or um, it's basically all it is. You're gonna pop that over the nipple. And then what you're gonna do is run this into a little can of brake cleaner. So you're gonna have a friend 
in the car and he's gonna operate the clutch pedal while you're under there uh, messing with this. So how it works is you're gonna wanna crack this bleeder. So you're gonna get your friend to push the clutch in while this is cracked. While it's on the floor, you're gonna tighten this up. He's gonna let go and you're gonna repeat. So crack it again, he's gonna push down. He, you're gonna tighten it, he's gonna let go. So um, that's just gonna slowly get the air out. And you're gonna keep doing that until you see in this line that there's no air bubbles and stuff like that. Also make sure your master cylinder is topped up with fluid because you don't want the clutch line and clutch system taking all the fluid and then there being no fluid left in the master cylinder. It's gonna suck in more air uh, through that empty master cylinder. All right guys, so the new slave cylinder is installed. I got the clutch bled as well. Seems to be full travel of the slave cylinder and the clutch fork. Uh, so we should be able to disengage the clutch and engage it like it should be done. So now we're gonna take this thing out of the garage and hop in, go for a little bit of a cruise and uh, maybe we can find a spot we can pour a bit of gravy. And uh, yeah, we'll just kind of, I don't know. <laughs>
when you're teaching somebody how to drift, the first thing you want to do is teach them how to do a circle drift. So you want to teach them how to do a donut, first get the back end out, and then you want to teach them how to start extending that circle bigger. in that last shot that the, the how quickly we were drifting was not quick at all it was very slow and that's because the tires in the rear I got some random stuff mounted on the rear today and uh, there's some crappy winters that are all dry rotted they have no grip in the rain um, and also they probably don't have a lot of grip in the dry either so they're just crappy tires all right guys so that was a pretty fun day I hope you liked the video um, Michael's going to be helping me with a lot of videos from now on so hopefully we're going to keep the quality pretty high as far as the editing and the camera you know view goes uh, so the wagon seems like it's pretty good we definitely fixed the slave cylinder that's all good it's making good power if you notice I'm actually running no blow off valve so it's actually compressor surging every time I let off the throttle so with the stock ECU it makes it a little iffy and it's kind of rich spiking and has a little bit of throttle um, it's just sputtering a little bit when you're modulating throttle a lot You kind of want to keep it full pinned if you can because it's going to run smoothest that way basically um, So stuff to come for the channel guys uh, The wagon we're gonna be What am I gonna be fucking doing the wagon? So hopefully we're gonna get the wagon passed through an inspection. I'll be able to drive it on the road again We got a drift event coming up on the 23rd um, So it's also my birthday the 20 or the, the 17th actually in a couple days here, so we're gonna go go-karting for that and film a video of that for you guys. We're just gonna kind of try to keep the ball rolling and keep content coming out for you guys. It's tough to keep, you know, pumping out new ideas all the time. Um, so let me know what you guys wanna see in the comments. Um, and also, I wanna do a Q&A video for you guys. So let me know in the comments some random questions you guys have for me, whether it be about cars, my life, um, growing up, that kind of stuff. 
uh, I'll answer whatever I can for you guys and I'll make a separate video of that. So I'm gonna leave you there today. Uh, make sure to check out the Drifts and Lifts store for all your merchandise. And yeah, it's pretty much a wrap. So like and subscribe for cold hard Volvo nipples. Peace out.